Hello everyone, welcome back to another video where today I wanted to talk a little bit about RTD's response to a bigoted Doctor Who fan and why I think it's kind of awesome. But before we get into it, if you could do me a teeny tiny little favour and click that subscribe button, that'd be ever so much appreciated. I'm making it a new goal to try and get to 20,000 subscribers by the end of the year. I know that might seem like a long way now, but with the centenary, I genuinely believe we could get there. So if you enjoy Doctor Who content and you want to see more like it, be sure to hit that subscribe button. It'd be ever so much appreciated. Also, go follow me on Twitter if you don't already. But with that said, let's get into the video. So this comes from Russell T. Davis's Instagram, where this person called literally Lance J says, Russell, I love Doctor Who and you as a showrunner. Why did you block me on my main account, Lance videos? Now, I think, as far as I'm aware, this person has a TikTok or had a TikTok. I had like a few followers or something. But <laughs> Russell responded, because you're a Republican C-word. And I think this is great. And the reason I do is because of some of the stuff that he said on his like main Twitter account. But he also responded, but I'm a huge fan of Doctor Who, man. Love the show when you ran it back in 2005. Russell, please apologize, man. Doctor Who's great. Now, as I was saying before, the reason I don't blame RTD at all for blocking this guy is because of some of the stuff that he's posted on his Twitter and Instagram. Mainly, things like, he celebrated the end of Pride Month and captioned it with, What's wrong with celebrating the end of the deadliest sin month? Pride is the deadliest sin. Now, naturally, Russell is a gay man, probably isn't going to agree with that. You know, you calling his entire existence sinful. And yet this guy had the gall to demand an apology of him. Can you imagine being so against someone's existence that you'd be willing to call it a sin, but then also demand an apology from that person for calling you that? Genuinely deluded. This person also has pictures with Nigel Farage. He says that atheists are groomers, apparently. Like, this guy's a nasty piece of work, so I do not play about ID at all for blocking this guy. The thing is, right, in situations like this, it's not just a case of differing opinion. It's a case of this guy's opinion genuinely believes that the other guys shouldn't exist. And at that point, it starts becoming a matter of opinion and starts becoming someone's right to be alive. And I think at that point, RTD is well with his rights to say, yeah, I don't really want to support this guy. So yeah, I completely agree with what RTD's done. RTD is based. Good on him for calling this guy out. Anyway, I just wanted to talk about this because it's kind of hilarious. But let me know in the comments below what you think about this situation. Like this video if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you later. Out out to Debs Iona, Shane Smith, Ree Caffin, Seb Lowndes, Jay Monroe, Hash Andy Coot, Patrick Mewson, Simon Ashley, Steve Zaffaro, Andrew Townsend, Alex Robbins, Michael Dykes, Paul Bryden, Sam Yates, Michael Rhodes, Jerry the Meerkat, Heretic, Cameron Jefferson, John M, Andrew Evanson, JM97, Gallifrey and Rob, Cliff's Random Silliness, Kyle McCroy, Nova Wolf Gaming, Carol Jude, Mr. KNL, Autumn Matthews, Josh Rocks123, The Raggedy Jedi, Upmixed Time Lord, Ian, if you want to become a member, feel free to do so, it really helps out. You get exclusive posts, shout outs in every video, and even your own badge and custom emojis to use.